guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl doris and i'm back with another video the yeah. channel name is doris tv don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and be part of the family and turn up anytime that i upload a video you see my videos guys i love you guys so much to my old subscribers love you guys for always be there for me and the new ones please try to subscribe and be part of the family guys let's get into the video without wasting more time today i'm coming to talk about the things that i've learned in these arabic countries you know i've learned a lot because i think i've learned a lot seriously i've learned a lot when i was in ghana i know we clean but the cleaning is different from here i know we arrange we we arrange um kitchen but it's different from here so i've learned a lot i've learned a lot i know right now if i get married i can take care of my house <laughs> you know if i get married oh i can arrange everything perfect if you enter inside my kitchen oh my, everything will be nice guys i've learned a lot yes I've learned a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot because when I was coming here, how to clean was a problem, how to cook was a problem. Even though I was cooking, but it's not, it was not perfect. Like I can't make cake, I can't break, I can't, I can't make cake, I cannot do cake, I cannot do um, pizza, I cannot do anything like those things. I can't sweet, I can't do anything. But now, oh, I'm a perfect i can do pizza perfect <laughs> so if i get married if my husband like pizza i will do for my husband if my husband like um cake my my kids oh, i'm not perfect i'm perfect <laughs> guys um i've learned a lot actually i've learned a lot because example in the kitchen like this when i was in ghana how to arrange a, ki a kitchen i don't even know like i was not having any idea about that to arrange a kitchen but now i can arrange my own kitchen example that if i get married and i have my husband has a, a um his own house and we are having a kitchen i will not take any housemate no i will do everything myself because as i'm working here i'm working as a housemate so why would i take a housemate again i have to work i have to do everything including the cooking ah i can do everything so i know how to arrange a uh, kitchen example these people like this they will say you should arrange the cups this side the spoons the plate everything you have to arrange everything side by side you don't have to do everything like you put this one here put this one here spoon here spoon here this one here no no here is not like that so i've learned how to arrange a kitchen to to arrange kitchen very very nicely i i hope one day if i wake up and i'm cleaning or i'm arranging kitchen i'm cooking i will make a video about that you people will see i've learned a lot i've learned a lot i learned how to arrange kitchen i learned how to clean i learned how to clean to wash bathroom i learned how to wash clothes i learned how to 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 iron things guys i've learned a lot i've learned and i learned how to to make pizza i learned how to make um uh fat um hey i say fataya um uh, cake oh i've learned a lot a lot a lot i if i come to ghana i have to open i have to open something that i'll be cooking and hey i think people will buy oh i'll be doing pizza i know and ghana to pizza is so there is money in so i have to do some doubt i have to think about that yes because i've learned a lot because my madam like pizza too much so guys i've learned a lot and like cooking like this perfect arabic food perfect hey sweet 
perfect i'm perfect in everything so i think sometimes it's good to travel yes travel and see it's good to travel if you travel i know we are suffering but if you travel you learn a lot because when i was in ghana how to clean was a problem for me how to cook how to make sweet how to make cake how to to, to arrange a, ki a kitchen how to arrange like your clothes and those things to arrange a room it was a problem for me but now i think if i get married i can do everything i can wash my husband things i can arrange them very nicely and put them inside i can do everything i can cook for my husband i can do sweet for my husband everything i can do so i think i have learned a lot guys and one thing is that i've learned how to be alone I've learned how to be alone because when I was in Ghana, always I be with people, I be with friends, I be with family. But here, no, I'm just alone. Even though there is a kids here, I talk to them, I play with them, but I'm just alone. I'm alone inside. I sleep alone. My friend, my friend is my phone. My friend, my family. My phone is my family. Like I don't have a family here, so I've learned how to stay alone, to be alone. And I've learned, and another thing is, another thing that I've learned is how to stay without having sex, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but it's, 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 it's a fact. Like, I think it's very good because sometimes, Sometimes if some people are there it's very difficult for them to stay without doing that but me I've learned how to stay without yes, yes. <laughs> Seriously because it's, 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 it's sometimes it's not easy But now I learn how to do that because to stay in somebody country two years without doing that I think it's very nice. So I've learned how to keep myself very well I've learned how to keep myself to keep myself so I don't think that I will have sex before getting married I have to get married before that before doing that so I've learned how to keep myself to keep myself <laughs> ah, it's not easy guys and another thing is that I've learned how to respect people you know I was even respecting but now the respect I have for people is more increased. I have increased it because, um, you know, Ghana, Ghana is different because here, even sometimes the way we, some people, the way we, some people will talk to our parents, sometimes your mother can say, go and fetch water for me to bath. You say, I will not go. But you are here, you are saving somebody. Even somebody that is not even, it's not your mother. Somebody that you don't even know, but you are serving the, the person. If the person say do this, you have to do it. If the person say do that, you have to do it. But your, if your mom say do this, you will say, I can't do. So I've learned how to do. As a, example, when I was in Ghana, how to go and fetch water was a problem. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Especially not like this. If your if your brother get married, your brother will be do, your brother wife will be doing everything, everything like washing, fetching water, and those things. If you want, you you help. If if you want, you can help. If you don't want, you can't. You just be sitting down, and she will do everything. So it was very difficult for me to go and fetch water. It, it was sometimes if my mom said get up and go and fetch water, I would say mom I'm tired, and they will allow me to sit down. They will not ask me, they will not shout, they will not say anything. Get up and go and do this, get up and go and do that. Get up and help them to cook, get up and help them to wash bowls. Get up and do this. They will not say anything. Because I, my, my three brothers, they, were, they, they are all having wives. So it was, so I think this place has helped me a lot. This place has helped me a lot. So guys, I've learned a lot in this place. I've learned a lot in this place. This video, I just want to tell you the things that I've learned so far. Guys, thank you guys so much for always being there. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be part of the family. Love you guys.